we're going to take a look at pornography and Jesus as the Good Samaritan. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with Franciscan Friars of the Renewal and this is Ascension Presents. First, I want to look at the parable of the Good Samaritan, right? There's a man, he's journeying on the road. Some robbers come, beat him up, right? And then Jesus, the Good Samaritan, comes to him, uh, is, sees him, is moved with compassion, as the gospel says, he comes to him, ministers to him, takes him to an inn, and, and sort of sees it through that he gets the healing that he needs. The more I walk with people, the more I think, uh, as they are just journeying the roads of life, like the man on the journey in, this, in the parable, they just get beat up. And one area of this is, is more and more the area of sexual addiction, particularly pornography. If you just look at the numbers, uh, young men and women are getting introduced to it younger and younger, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. This is too young to know what to do to be able to manage it. And what happens, it, it gets in, like it gets into their lives. And very quickly, it can become habitual. This eight, nine, 10 year old who was introduced to this thing when they were too young to know what to do with it now is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 25. They're, they're really, they're praying, they're going to church, but there's this thing and they can't shake it and they keep struggling. And then there's the added level of shame because they do this thing that they're not proud of. The end result is just a lack of freedom and beat up and shame and sin, right? And here's the thing, friends, like, here's the thing, like, the Lord sees you and is moved with compassion. That's the good, the good Samaritan, is, it's, he sees the guy beat up and is moved with compassion. The Lord just sees you, my brothers and sisters, and is moved with compassion. And he sees that young boy or young girl who was introduced to this in whatever means it happened. And I really believe this is what the good Samaritan wants to come to you and say to you if, if this is your situation. It's not your fault. You know, if you, if you were introduced to these right again in like your early formative years, which is just happening more and more again, it just pops up from this or that. It's like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. And secondly, it doesn't define you. The struggle, the sin, whatever it is, but this one especially, which, which can be so, so, so tied up with shame and so, so, so tied up with how we define ourselves. Like it just doesn't define you and it doesn't define how he sees you. And then thirdly is this, as I really believe the Good Samaritan and part of his healing wants to speak th these words to you, is just you were never supposed to know how to navigate it. It gets before you just while you're young and, and you were just never supposed to have access to pornography like, like in a moment's notice in the privacy of like your room on a phone and, and the sexual stuff, it's just everywhere. Like it's just not a fair fight. It's just not a fair fight and, and you're just getting beat up all over the place. This isn't a dismissal towards sin. This isn't meant to be reductive of the evils of pornography and, and that whole culture of it. Like we just want to look at the reality is that this is introduced to so many people just before they are equipped while they're very young and very vulnerable, which is part of the evil and part of the strategy. And we want to begin here with, with the healing, like at this root. And can you prayerfully acknowledge the ways in which you're beat up by it, the ways in which you weren't equipped to deal with it, and to ask and just to know the Lord sees you. He sees the young man. He sees the young woman. He sees his son. He sees his daughter. He sees you. And first and foremost, he's moved with compassion. And then he wants to minister to you and bring healing. And so my brothers and sisters, as we've talked about Lent being this journey of, of repentance, beginning with like repent and believe in the good news. I believe this is the good news. This is the good news that, that we want to find healing in. And then from that will continue to flow uh, sort of the grace of healing and of purity and freedom. My brothers and sisters, you're struggling with pornography and it was introduced to your life very young. Uh, again, hear these words. This was never supposed to happen. You were never supposed to be, have to fight these temptations. It's just not your fault. It doesn't define you. You weren't supposed to be able to know how to navigate it all. So come to him, turn to him, let him bring this healing into your life. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. Somos peregrinos, poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a llegar. We're going to make it. God bless y'all.